Hey everyone, welcome back to this Tosca Automation playlist. And today we are going to continue with the second part of the Excel engine. Now in the previous session, I showed you how you can compare to Excel files, which are basically existing files. But what about the other functions? Like if you want to open an Excel file, if you want to close it, if you want to uh, input some values into the Excel file, or if you want to verify uh, some values from the Excel sheet. Right. So these are the common uh, functions which you perform uh, with an Excel during your automation. And uh, all of these functions are already defined in the T-Box modules uh, in Tosca. OK, so you can find it in the standard subset uh, where we found the compare Excel uh, module. Uh, all the other modules are also present. So let's see what are these modules and uh, how you can basically use these modules. OK. So uh, I've already uh, created a test case called create Excel. And inside this I have, you can see I have uh, used a couple of modules from the Excel worksheet. Okay, and uh, basically this will do uh, first is to open an Excel workbook. Okay, then I'm creating an Excel worksheet. I am defining Excel range. I am manipulating the Excel range and then I'm closing the uh, Excel workbook, right? So we'll understand uh, what are all these modules and what they exactly do. OK, the tbox delete file is just um, to delete any existing files before I create a new Excel worksheet. OK, now to add uh, these modules is pretty much the same way uh, you add any module. OK, so go ahead and search for tbox Excel and that should pop up all the modules which are present uh, in Tosca. OK and part of the standard subset. So uh, we'll be looking at few of them, if not all, okay? So the first one, which I want to explain you uh, is the T-Box Open Excel Workbook module, okay? And what it exactly does is it allows you to open an Excel file, okay? Uh, which is also a workbook. It can contain several worksheets, okay? Let's see what, uh, what all uh, module attributes you need to pass in order to do this. Okay. So I'm going to close this. As I said, I have already created uh, this module. And in this, uh, the three most important attributes are workbook name, path, and uh, the create new, whether you want to create a new workbook or you want to uh, read an existing workbook. Okay. So you can do both with this particular module. Okay. So you can open an existing uh, file or you can even create a new file. In my case, I'm creating a new uh, workbook. Okay, so I'm giving it a name, employee data, and the path, um, it's ctraining employee.xlsx. So it will be creating this EMP uh, Excel, uh, Excel sheet. Okay, and inside this, I have a workbook name, which is employee data. Okay, and then a create new. So either you can set it to true or you can set it to false. OK. If you want to make it a password protected, you can give the password here. Um, or if you want to open it as read only, uh, you can also select true or false. OK, so these are all the attributes uh, which you need to use for open Excel workbook. And as I said, this can be used to both open an existing sheet or create a new sheet. So the next uh, module which you want to look at is the create Excel worksheet. OK. And in this, so you can create a worksheet if uh, your worksheet is not present or you want to create a new worksheet, okay? So here, if I open this particular module, you need to provide the workbook name and make sure the workbook name is exactly the same which you have provided while opening the workbook, okay? So workbook name will remain same during the complete test case. Uh, worksheet name, you need to provide a new worksheet name. OK, so I've given it EMP uh, worksheet order, which means uh, where you want to create the sheet. OK, so the position of the sheet, it can be first, it can be any number you can specify first or last. OK, so I have specified it first. So this sheet will always be created as the first sheet in the workbook. OK, so this is open and then create Excel worksheet. And then comes the define Excel range. OK. So this module define Excel range allows you to define a certain data range 
that you want to steer from the excel sheet okay and mind you this step is mandatory for every test case where you want to manipulate any particular data range okay so this is basically like selecting any particular um, excel sheet and then selecting a, a data range right so if i'm selecting some cells that's my data range okay so my data range would be a1 and uh, to b4 okay and if i've got more data then i'll be selecting like this okay so you have to take the first cell which is a1 and the last cell which is b4 okay so this is the range we uh, define in an excel sheet okay same thing uh, we are doing uh, in the tosca test case okay we need to define a certain data range we are giving the range a particular name so that we can refer it back uh, we are using the same sheet name and uh, the same uh, workbook name which we have created earlier okay in this data range then uh, we'll be selecting a starting cell and the ending cell okay don't worry about this we can select any particular uh, end cell okay if you want to continue creating more records you can put some uh, random value here or some higher value okay so if you want to create 40 records maybe or 49 records then the end cell will be 50 right similarly you can put any range here okay so that's uh, defining the excel range and the next step is to uh, maybe you want to manipulate or you want to input some values into that particular range of your or into your cells okay or you want to verify something so you need to use this particular module tbox excel range manipulation so here we need to provide the range name okay so we have already defined that in the previous step okay employee data is our range name so we'll be providing it here and then inside that range we can create our data table okay so inside this data table you can see here i am creating some new values or i am inputting some new values okay so the first value is my header so i have selected header here okay and then uh, the first cell okay so this is the header row and then the first cell or the first uh, column would be my header name okay so i have given it full name and then the cell 2 or the column 2 would be my salary okay so i'm basically uh, structuring or creating this particular excel sheet which we are going to create in this test case that you can see here it has got basically uh, two uh, first header okay full name and salary and then uh, the values okay two rows and then another total salary uh, which has got a value so this is the sheet which i'm creating with my test case okay and if you come here you will see that uh, this is my header values uh, this is my first row okay these are the values you can see here i am also using buffer to buffer this amount one okay this this amount and then in the second row again the values and again i'm buffering this particular value okay because i want to perform some calculations later on and then in the third row uh, you can see total salary and then i'm entering some salary okay and here again i am verifying it obviously you can do it in a separate test case okay that would be recommended but uh, for this demo purpose i have used the same uh, row number to with that particular cell and i put a verification step here okay so here you can see i have used a math calculation okay uh, function and inside this i am then using the buffer values amount one and amount two i am summing it up and whatever uh, the result would be from this calculation should be same as what is present here okay so this is a verification i'm performing okay so this is all you can do you can input values you can uh, buffer values you can verify your values uh, in your cells from the excel range you have defined okay so all this can be done with this excel range manipulation module and the last step is to uh, close the excel workbook here you can do two functions okay one you are closing the workbook and the second you can also save it okay so that is a save option you can set it to true and false uh, you have to give the path 
okay and then uh, you have to name uh, the workbook which is employee data okay so whatever we have defined earlier the same name will be here okay okay so i need to correct this uh, excel path this should be amp and uh, you can also give a separate path if you want to save it somewhere else okay and you can also save as type okay so there is an option save as type here you can see there are all the different formats which you can read and write or save in this using this particular module okay so there is excel workbook i can save this as a, a pdf directly okay uh, and all the different txt csv uh, so any any file format you can use to save this as that particular type you can also open different excel uh, types if you are using okay using this particular module some of the other uh, tbox modules which are available and this so let me show you that so we have seen uh, file compare so there is a run excel macro so using this you can basically run um, a macro which is present on your excel sheet okay so using this module you can do that you can clear the excel range so if uh, you want to clear your previous range whatever you have inputted into the cells if you want to clear all those values you can use this module so define we have seen manipulation we have seen open close create so all of this we have seen you can also delete an excel worksheet and you can also update an excel worksheet okay so if multiple uh, sheets uh, in your excel then you can delete and update worksheets using this modules okay so these are all the modules which are available um, for the excel engine okay and uh, it could be used for uh, any kind of functions which you want or operations which you want to perform on excel sheets okay so let me go ahead and close this now and let's go ahead and run this particular uh, test case okay let's see if it works so as you can see the test case has passed okay and uh, if i go ahead and look at the results in the excel range manipulation specifically we have uh, inputted some values right and if you go into the verification step uh, you will see the buffer has uh, also worked it has buffered the value into this amount one and it has also verified okay so expected value versus the actual value right so that's how you can perform all the different operations on microsoft excel using this particular modules or using all of these different modules which are present uh, in the excel engine of tosca and finally let me also show you whether it has created the file um, as we have defined it in our test case so let's go here uh, under this our sheet name was emp if you remember and if i open this you will see uh, exactly the same data which we have created um, in our test case okay so the header names um, the data values and then the some calculation okay which we are verifying this particular value so that's our excel sheet which was created uh, with that particular test case using all the different modules of the excel engine so that's all for this uh, video hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new today uh, if you have any questions leave it in the comment section um, keep watching our channel as lots of other videos are coming up if you want to continue learning Tosca and other automation tools.